we are going to be doing some geography. Oh man, I really don't know where this one is at all. Let me try it. No, that gummit. Oh yes, okay. No, 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 no. All right, so Roger and I have a different video for you today. I've been saying for a while that I'd like to do geography on this channel, and it definitely goes along with the history and the culture stuff, I think. I have had some requests to do reactions to videos on geography, but I thought it would be fun today to test my knowledge on English counties and see how many of them I can get correct. Now, I have seen a lot of, like, BBC documentaries and stuff, and it's always kind of interesting to me that people in those will identify themselves by the county that they live in. They'll say that I'm from, I don't know, like, Devon, or I've had people on here tell me that you're from Kent or something like that. It's kind of like us here in the States where we'll identify where we're from, like, oh, I'm from Pennsylvania, or I'm from Tennessee, or California. Us Americans would never identify ourselves by what county we live in, and we do have counties. So there's, like, the United States, the then there are the states, and then there are counties in those states, and then there are cities in those counties. And we'll just say what city we're from or what state we're from. The United States has 3,006 counties, and my state alone of Tennessee has 95. So as you can imagine, learning all of those counties would be quite daunting. Definitely not impossible, but... I think it would be fun to kind of learn the counties of my own state. Of course, I know the county that I'm from, and I know two or three of the surrounding counties, and I probably know four or five other counties scattered throughout the state in various areas, but I couldn't begin to tell you all 95. Tennessee is not a huge state, but it's not small either. It takes like 10 hours to drive from end to end, so there's just no way to like know everything in between. Well, I guess there is, but it would take a lot of studying, that's for sure. By contrast, England has 48 ceremonial counties, and I know that there are counties also in Scotland and Wales, I think. And there are also historical counties, which I think are less. I think there's like 27 historical counties, if that's right. I don't really know what the difference is between historical counties and ceremonial counties, so you guys might have to explain that to me. I did not study or anything going into the recording of this video. So this is all going off of the geography that I have learned in the past. I would like to kind of get into geography of of all the areas of the world, and even up in space. I think it would be fascinating to learn where different constellations are, different stars, different galaxies, stuff like that. But we're gonna start with English counties first, and so without further ado, we're gonna get into this. So I have no idea how this is gonna go, but please be forgiving because this would be like you guys trying to label a map of the 50 states, which some of you guys can probably do that pretty easily, especially if you're into geography and history and stuff. But my guess is like the average UK citizen probably couldn't do it. So anyway, I guess we will try this and see how it goes. You ready, Roger? <sighs> okay. All right, so here we are. We're going to start this quiz. As you can see, our first one is Rutland. <sighs> um, I feel like this is in the middle of the country somewhere. I also feel like it's a smaller one, like maybe this one right here in the middle. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. Um, shoot. Oh, it was right. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, um, Warwickshire. I think it's this one right here with the weird shape because I don't know, it just reminds me of chaos and war. So I think that's how I remember this one. Yes, okay, awesome. Merseyside. I know Merseyside is up here by Liverpool's, Liverpool's up here, right, somewhere. What's that group called that had that like ferry across the Mersey? um song that they that they were like a rival of the beatles back in the day i forgot what their name was though and they, they sing that song henry the eighth man why can't i remember what they're called but i think um i think it's this one right here okay is this called Worsh mm -mm. worcestershire 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 no worcestershire Worcestershire. Worcestershire? It kind of sounds like the Worcestershire sauce that we have over here that some people eat with, I think, steaks and stuff. Worcestershire. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly, but you know, Worcestershire. <laughs> I think 
It is over here somewhere by Warwickshire. Was that Warwickshire? I don't forgot what it was called. Warwickshire. I think it's like this. Hmm. I think it's this one right here. But I have a feeling that it's going to be like one of these over here somewhere. But I'm just going to... Okay. All right, so far we're doing okay. Uh, Isle of Wight, you know, it's the only island here except for, you know, the island of Ireland, I learned. And the island of uh, Britain. Okay, so Isle of Wight down here. Yorkshire, South Yorkshire. So I know that Yorkshire's, I think this big one right here. So South Yorkshire is probably going to be this one to the south of it. I'm just assuming. So, all right. Tynan Ware. Now that's a small one, I know, up on the northern part of England. I think it's this one right here. So we're gonna go with that one. West Midlands. Okay, so obviously it's gonna be towards the middle of the country to the west because it's West Midlands. I think it's this one right here. That's with Worcestershire and Warwick Shire. I, did, was there a Shire on the end of that? I think it's this one. Okay, Leicestershire. Is that how you say that? Leicestershire? Oh, shoot. Um, well, dadgummit. Hmm, like Hestershire. Why do I think it's on the left side of the country? That would be the <laughs> west coast, I guess. Uh, not the coast, because it's like Wales is right there, so the left, no, the west boundary border of England. I feel like it's, it's like one of these, but I don't know which one. Watch it not be, watch it be like somewhere over here. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get this one wrong. I think this is the first one I'm gonna get wrong. Yeah, no. Nope. All right, maybe it's, you know what? I don't think it is. I think it's like in the, is it like, oh man, I really don't know where this one is at all. Is it like in the middle here, maybe? No, it's right in the middle. Well, there we go. Bedfordshire, Bedfordshire, huh. I feel like it might be this one because it's kind of like laying on its side like it's on a bed. Let me try it. No. Dead gum it. All right. Um, Bedfordshire. Is it like this one that was like, it's on this one that's on its side, but on it, like it's on the bed. So I'm wondering if that's like it. No. Okay. Is it all like this one that's laying on this one that was, I thought the bed at first, maybe it's on Maybe it's that one. Yes, okay. That's how I memorized it. It was like, this one's the bed, and this one's on the bed, and so that's Bedfordshire. What's, what's, what are we doing? What's the thing? Cumbria. Okay, I know that one's up here. Is it, though? Shoot. Is it that one or that one? I can't remember. No, I feel like, I feel like it's this one. This one has, like, a really long, weird name. All right, I'm gonna go with this one. It's Cumbria. Yes. All right. Cheshire. That's over here somewhere. Oh, uh, where, though? I don't think it's these, one of these two. I think it's one of these two, and I don't remember. Was it this one or this one? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, Northamptonshire. That's the one that has a really long, it's not a weird name, it's just a long name. And it's up north, right? So I think it's this one, Northamptonshire. No, 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 no. Okay, I got that one mixed up with the other north one. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, well. It's like in the southern part of England, but north of something. Northamptonshire. Why do I think it's like... Huh. Is it like this one right here, maybe? Yes. Okay. I don't know why. what made me think that was it, but I just... I don't know. West Sussex. Okay. Okay, so I think these are east and west Sussex down here, so we're gonna go with west right there. Suffolk. I know that this is Norfolk and Suffolk, and I know because Norfolk is north, Suffolk is like sub, like under, so it's under the North Folk. We have Norfolk also over here. We have probably several cities called Norfolk. Most famous is Norfolk, Virginia. It's probably named after this county. So Suffolk is right here. All right, North Yorkshire. This is Yorkshire. We have South Yorkshire. We're gonna have North. I think that's North Yorkshire. There's not just like a regular Yorkshire. It's, it's like North Yorkshire, right? We're gonna go with that. All right. There we go. All right, Greater London. Obviously, that's gonna be down here. London is a circle right here. Greater London would be this around it right here. So we're just gonna say that this is Greater London. That was pretty easy. All right, Wiltshire. Wiltshire? 
Wiltshire, is that how you say it? There was a street, it's a very, very like big, popular, famous street in Los Angeles where I used to live. It's called Wilshire. It's just missing the T. Like it was spelled like Wiltshire without the T. And for some reason, I was able to like associate that street name with the county on here. So I think this is it right here. Okay. All right. City of London is obviously the circle right here. Now, this is something I don't understand. Like, why is the city of London included in the counties? Is it actually a county? You guys are going to have to explain that one to me. Staffordshire. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, hmm. Shoot. It'd be pretty funny if my mouse was just sitting on it right there. All right. I think I'm going to get this one wrong. I think it's like one of these three right here, but I'm not sure which one. Maybe it is this one. Or is it this one? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, let's go with this one. All right. I should remember that one because there's like this little part right here that kind of could be like the staff holding it up. So, okay. Shropshire. I would probably get this one wrong, but I accidentally clicked on it a few minutes ago. So I think it's... I don't remember which one I clicked on. <laughs> is it this one or this one? I think it's this one. Yeah, Buckinghamshire. I think it's this one because it has kind of like a fancy... It, it reminds me of like those like lion logos that you get but upside down. So I associate this like fancy shape right here with like royalty and the crown. So we're gonna go with that one as Buckinghamshire. I have a question though. Is that where Bucking Buckingham Palace is in London, right? So why is that called Buckinghamshire? East Sussex. So this one's easy. This was next to West Sussex. We're gonna go right down there. All right, Durham. There's a Durham, North Carolina. That's pretty famous. It's usually paired with like Raleigh, so you'll always hear like about the Raleigh-Durham area. Okay, Durham. Oh shoot. Okay, I really don't know where this one is. It's gotta be like maybe down here somewhere. I feel like because I don't think any of these places could be Durham. Do you guys have a name for this like piece of jutting off right here? Huh, I feel like maybe it's like one of these. Oh. Um, I don't know. Oh, shoot. Right there? No. There are a bunch of D's down here. I remember that. There's a bunch of D's. Okay, so it's not down there. Oh, oh, it's way up here. All right, well, I was way off on uh, that one. All right, Glaucus. Oh, shoot. Another one of these. Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire? Is that how you say that? Gloucestershire? Huh. I think it's, like, down... I think it's, like, right here somewhere. I think it's maybe this, this one right here? Okay. East Riding of Yorkshire. I love that name. It's a very strange, but like a like a weird, strong name, sort of. What does that refer to, East Riding of Yorkshire? So obviously it's up here by Yorkshire. So we've got North Yorkshire, South Yorkshire, East Riding of Yorkshire. Right there. Okay, Surrey. This one's down by London somewhere. Uh, I think it might be this one. Okay. All right, Lincolnshire. I think it's this big long one right here because it reminds me of Abraham Lincoln's like long face. So we're gonna click on this one. Yes. Okay, Berkshire. We have a really famous city called Berkeley here in California. I kind of associate Berkshire with Berkeley. For some reason, I associate Berkeley with this one lying down, which I thought was Bedford a few minutes ago, but, but I think it's this one. Berkshire. Oxfordshire. So I'm assuming this is where Oxford is. I accidentally clicked on this earlier, so I, I, I know it's this one right here. Hertfordshire. Oh, dang it. I think it's around London somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe it's like this one right here. I think this one starts with an H, but I don't know if it's Hertfordshire. It's either this one, I think, or this one right here. I don't think it's this one. I think it's this one. Yes, Devon. It's one of those D's that's down here on this part sticking out. So Devon, I, um, I just clicked on it accidentally. I think it's this one. No, it must be this one then. Okay, West Yorkshire. Uh, obviously we're gonna go back up here to the Yorks and we're going to do West Yorkshire. Things right there. Greater Manchester. I do know this is up here in the Northern part of England. I think it's this one right here. Yes. Awesome. Okay, Cornwall, I believe is down here. I think it's this one right here. All right. Essex. Essex is one of these two. Maybe it's by Sussex because it kind of sounds like Sussex, except it's Essex. The other one's Kent. I know that. I just don't remember which is which. Essex or Kent. 
Which one are you? My gut is telling me Essex is this one because it's a little bit crazier in its shape and Essex is a crazier name than Kent. So we're gonna go with that. Yes, Herefordshire. Okay, that's the other one that I got confused with. Hertfordshire. You guys like to stick Shire onto the ends of these counties' names, don't you? Herefordshire, I think is this one right here. Yes, okay. Derbyshire. Now, I think this is it right here. I don't know why I associate this with a derby hat. It doesn't look anything like a derby hat, but it's sitting on top of some other county, sort of. <laughs> So it kind of makes me think of that sitting on top of uh, stuff. I, it doesn't make sense at all. Derbyshire. Okay, Norfolk. I already explained my reasoning behind this one. Norfolk. Okay, Lan Lancashire. I believe is this one. Okay, I just remember that it's on the, uh, the, the, the left side. <laughs> uh, Dorset is this one, I think, that I kept... Uh, clicking on accidentally thinking it was Durham, and then I thought it was Devon, and now it's Dorset. Okay. Uh, Hampshire, uh, I know, I think this is down here. I know it's close to London. Okay. Oops, I accidentally clicked on that. Thankfully it was right. Uh, Cambridgeshire, I'm assuming this is where Cambridge is. So I know is this one right here. Alright, so Kent, uh, I thought it was this one down here, so... All right. Okay, Nottinghamshire. Does this actually have something to do with Robin Hood? Like, what... Is that where, uh, was Robin Hood just like set in Nottinghamshire, I'm assuming, or was Nottinghamshire like named after Robin Hood? That's probably a stupid question. Watch Robin Hood just not like have anything to do with this county at all. All right, I think we have one left, right? No, we have two. Uh, Somerset, I know that that, no, we have three. Uh, Somerset is down here by Dorset. Northumberland. That's that's the weird long name that I was thinking about. So we're going to put that one right there. I'm probably mispronouncing this stuff. Bristol. I know it's this little teeny tiny one right here. So there we go. All right. So not the best score in the world. That would be like a B minus grade here in the States. I don't know. So what do you guys think? I was hoping that I would do a little bit better than 81%. So there you go. My final map. All of the white ones are correct. And the ones I got wrong are the different colored ones. So I don't know. It's like not too bad looking at it this way. All right. So there you have it. That is my attempt at finding all of the different English counties on a map. Now finding the counties on the map is quite a different thing to actually knowing about the counties. I can honestly say I know absolutely nothing about the counties. I don't know what they're like. I don't know what the people are like, what they look like, what they're famous for, what sort of tourist spots they have, what the accents are like, whether they have a university there. You know, all of those different things. I think those things would be a lot of fun to explore in future videos. So I do have a lot of people from the UK that watch my videos. So so if you are living in England, please let me know what county you live in and also maybe let me know what your favorite thing is about the county where you live. I have to say for me, the most intriguing one is the Isle of Wight. I think just because it's an island off the coast by itself. And so I kind of have these ideas of it looking sort of like Maine with a bunch of lighthouses and like a rocky coast and maybe cliffs and stuff like that. But maybe it doesn't look like that at all. <laughs> Well, Roger, why do you still have your Napoleon hat on? We're not even doing anything on the Napoleonic Wars. All right, well, you know what? Drawings are gonna do what they wanna do. All right, guys, let me hear from you down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. We're gonna be getting back to the Napoleonic Wars, much to Roger's delight, next. So stay tuned for that, and we will see you next time.